In 2021, we saw the introduction of so many cool Pokemon in Pokemon Go, and it's a new year with new opportunities and new possibilities for some new incredible Pokemon coming to the game. Today, not only are we traveling to Canada for Community Day, but we're also going over my predictions for the Pokemon that I think might just make their debut in Pokemon Go 2022. The most anticipated Pokemon of the year. Lauren, are you excited or what? I've never been more excited in my life. I can't wait. So I um, missed the flight. Apparently you gotta be here an hour before your flight. Checked in, bags checked, thing. missed the flight. But that does give us time to look at some spawns and talk about some Pokemon I think will be coming here in the year 2022. And I have five hours to complete the Mountains of Power research. Let's do this, okay. So let's start with some anniversary poster Pokemon. If you don't know, every single year Pokemon Go puts out an anniversary poster. And in that poster, always there's some sort of sneak peek new Pokemon. Well, in the fourth anniversary poster, this is like almost two years ago, about a year and a half ago. In the poster, there was a picture of Mega Lucario. And I do think this year we're gonna see Mega Lucario. I'm really, really, fingers crossed hoping for it. Mainly because it's gonna be a monster. Mega Lucario at level 40 will be 3,826 CP, and at level 50 will be 4,325. Imagine that, you have a level 50 Mega Lucario, 4,300 CP, and obviously, since it's a fighting type, it's going to boost the fighting type of other Pokemon in the raid. Not to mention, I do have one shiny best buddy, level 40 Riolu, my only shiny Riolu. I best buddied it, I maxed it out to 40, so that when Mega Lucario came out, I could evolve it to my first ever shiny Lucario, and we can get mega shiny Lucario in the Pokedex. Not to mention, I have actually two 98 IV Lucario, one of which being a level 40 and best buddy. So I'm freaking ready. Mega Lucario is gonna be huge for Pokemon Go. I think it's this year. And another Pokemon in that fourth anniversary poster was this guy, Mewtwo, Mega Mewtwo Y. Now the problem with Mega Mewtwo Y is that it's literally, it's just too large. It's too large, it would be too high CP, it would be actually game breaking. So they have to figure out a way to make it not game breaking. For example, Mega Mewtwo Y at level 40, level 40 would be 5610 CP. That's absurd. But not as absurd as its level 50 stats at 6,343 CP. Imagine that, 6,300 CP. That's too much. So I don't know how they're gonna integrate Mega Mewtwo Y in Pokemon Go, but listen, we had it sneak peeked uh, almost two years ago. This is the year it happens. We don't have any Mega Legendary Pokemon. This definitely is the year we see our first Mega Legendary, and I think it'll be Mega Mewtwo. And not to mention, Mega Mewtwo Y has a 388 attack stat, which is, I think, the third highest in the entire game. It is huge. Dinner, dinner, what's for dinner? Oh, <laughs> nothing, because I didn't cook. If you're like me, eating healthy this year is not a goal, it's a must. But I <laughs> hate cooking. Which is why today, we're partnering up with the homies at HelloFresh. HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items that you can choose from per week, including vegetarian, calorie smart, gourmet, can't even spell that word, which provides plenty of variety, which is kind of a sucky thing about meal prepping, because I eat the same two things every day. No longer, says HelloFresh. This really helps with goals, because the recipes are simple and fresh. And the big thing is they have pre-portioned ingredients, which saves time when meal prepping and saves time going to the grocery store. You know exactly what you're eating and how much of it. Huge! And listen, I'm somebody who's really, really particular about how I spend my time. Did you know it takes an average of 41 minutes per grocery store trip? <laughs> That's ridiculous. HelloFresh helps you skip the lines and get good food on your table. And you can use my link in the description or go to hellofresh.com and use code POG-MYSTIC16 for up to 16 free meals plus three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes, plus free shipping. Gifts include free appetizers, free desserts, and free premium recipes. So check out the link in the description and thank you to HelloFresh. So that's the fourth anniversary poster, but there is another one, the fifth anniversary poster, and there was a lot in that as well, including the Generation 7 starters, which we have not seen yet in Pokemon Go. Those being Poplio, Rowlet, and Litten. Obviously, Rowlet is a very popular one because it's evolution. And speaking of the evolutions, Poplio evolves into Primarina, Primarina, which will have a max CP of 3610, and it will be a water and fairy type, which can prove to be pretty useful, especially since, again, it's 3610 CP fully maxed out at level 40. 
It's pretty good. Decidueye Rowlet's evolution will be a grass and ghost type Pokemon. Really, really interesting typing. And it's gonna max out at 3137. Unfortunately, pretty low CP max out, but a cool Pokemon. And then finally, Incineroar Litten's evolution maxes out at 3387, so that's pretty good. And it will be a fire and dark type, which again, very cool typing. I 100% believe we will see those three starters and their evolutions this year. There are two more things in that fifth anniversary poster, one of which being the one and only Mega Mewtwo X. Mega Mewtwo X suffering the same problem as Mega Mewtwo Y, uh, Elephant CP Titus. Basically, it's just too big. Mega Mewtwo X will be 5,429 CP at level 40, and at level 50, 6,138 CP. That is absurd. So this Mewtwo right here, level 50 Mewtwo, it's not 100% IVs, but if we Mega Evolve this, dude, well over 6,000 CP. Ridiculous. And again, the attack stat is 375 on Mega Mewtwo X, which is obscenely high, one of the highest ever. And the final one, I think, from the anniversary posters, actually, is this guy, Shiny Cast Form, but not the normal Cast Form, Shiny Sunny Cast Form. We have Shiny Rainy and normal Cast Form released in Pokemon Go, but that's it. We don't have Sunny quite yet. So I think Shiny Sunny Cast Form will be coming out as a part of uh, an event sometime this year, maybe like a weather event. All right, plenty more cool Pokemon to talk about this year. Let's sit down somewhere, get a snack or something. I didn't put that chair there, I promise. You beheaded my first video here. How do I do this? I don't know, dude. We're gonna live with it then. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? Wow. Surprise, we're in Canada. In Vancouver this weekend, and actually we've got a lot happening in Pokemon Go just in game. This city is popping, but there's no event happening right now. So the more exciting stuff is, uh, well, the other predictions we have. Gilly, let me ask you something. When do you think the one and only Kecleon is coming to Pokemon Go? Never. <laughs> okay, so if you don't know, Kecleon actually came out for a little bit during Chikorita Community Day. All right, this is it. This is the beginning of, of whatever the heck this is. Are they here? Yeah, here it is, here it is, here it is. What the heck is this? But some people did get Kecleon when they were standing next to people who were catching the Nutto. Their Nuttos were actually Kecleon. So in certain cases, this Pokemon was actually a Kecleon in Pokemon Go, which could mean that this thing is just a, a hidden Kecleon. It came out as like just like a meme almost. Like that and I think Ditto or, or Meltan or something. It was it was out for a second. It wasn't really out. It was just a meme, but Kecleon is a Pokemon that we still don't have. Looking in the Pokedex, I, I I hope I'm right here. I'm not gonna Google it. Hey Gilly, Kecleon is generation three, right? Yes, Pokedex number 352 is Kecleon. It's the last generation three Pokemon to be released. We still don't have all of gen three, and here's the reason why. In an interview in November 2021 with Niantic, they stated that Kecleon will have some sort of special release in Pokemon Go, and the reason is because of the move Kecleon has, Collar Change. Collar Change is a special, not a move, a special ability. Collar Change is a special ability that Kecleon has that changes its typing to the last type that hit it. So if it got hit by a fire attack move, it changes to a fire type Pokemon. This would be pure rainbow insanity inside of a raid. <laughs> Imagine with a bunch of different trainers attacking it because it's a normal type. And it would be difficult to have in Go Battle League and Team Rocket encounters. It's a difficult Pokemon to program, which is why it's been delayed so long. But this year, I think this is the year that we see Kecleon in Pokemon Go. Fingers crossed, I believe. Ah, and up next, the biggest Pokemon in the history of Pokemon, the Lord of all, Arceus. Arceus, 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 watch.
So let's talk about Arceus or Arceus. I'm gonna say Arceus, Arceus in Pokemon Go. So now obviously the main series game, Pokemon Legends Arceus is set to release sometime within the next month, right? Isn't it in February? Really, really soon here. And the big question is, could we see a cross promotional event happening in Pokemon Go? Will Pokemon Go release Arceus in Pokemon Go to help promote the new Legends Arceus game? Will it be some sort of feature like with uh, Meltan and Pokemon Let's Go to where you have to have Pokemon Legends Arceus and you have to reach a certain point in the game so that you can unlock Arceus in Pokemon Go? Or maybe they just release it as part of an event. Also, not to mention, the Season of Heritage is obviously happening right now in Pokemon Go and it ends on March 1st. The big thing about the Season of Heritage is the stylistic theme of the logo and look of the Season of Heritage Heritage is pretty much the same as the stylistic theme of the logo and look of Legends Arceus. Could the end of the season of Heritage end in an Arceus encounter? It'd make a lot of sense, because the game's coming out again, I think in February, and this season ends in March. March 1st. Gilly, yeah, when do you think Arceus is coming out? Go Fest Ultra Unlock. Wow. Now here's the problem with Arceus, is that... How do you pronounce Arceus? It's already out. It's Arceus. Don't be weird. Is it actually Arceus? No, but don't be weird. Okay. The problem with Arceus Ar Ar yes, is that it has 18 different forms. Depending on the Arceus's typing, will change the form of the Arceus. No. What? You know how they did uh, the the the. You know how they did the llama Pokemon Furfro? Yes. Same thing. You think? Yep. You, but what about Genesect? Uh, they took an L already. It's too late to go back. <laughs> I agree. So the obvious problem with Arceus is the fact that it has 18 different forms. So. Will we see a form change feature introduced for Arceus like we did for Furfro? Or will it be like Genesect to where we have to raid the 18 different forms? That would suck. That wouldn't be a good plan. Oh my god, look at these guys, dude. What the hell? Look at these guys. Dude, yeah. Spider-Man? Spider-Man? <laughs> what the? And speaking of Arceus in the game, it is the god of all Pokemon, but how high in CP does it go? Level 40 is going to be 3,982. Level 50, 4,501. So oddly less CP than Mewtwo, but... Still a freaking monster. That's Arceus. Now, there's still a couple more that I think might come out this year. Okay, so this is beautiful. Vancouver is beautiful, by the way. Two more. Pokemon predictions I wanna make before we end off today's video, and there's some big ones. We've gone through some legendaries and megas and things that I think we're gonna see in Pokemon Go this year, some of the most highly anticipated Pokemon, but what about the ones that we could almost guarantee? Like the Go Fest Mythical. Remember that in 2018, we had Celebi come out for Go Fest. That was Gen 2. 2019 during Go Fest, Jirachi, Gen 3. 2020 was Victini Gen 5, and 2021 was Meloetta Generation 5. We have not seen the Generation 4 Mythicals come out in Pokemon Go, and they are Fiony and Manaphy. If I had to predict the mythical Pokemon we'd see this year during Pokemon Go Fest, I would say either Fiony or Manaphy. Now, I don't know which, which they would choose. Maybe we get a double year this year. F it, why not? But I definitely think Generation 4 Mythicals coming out, at least one of them, for Pokemon Go Fest. And the last prediction I'll make this video will be the Shiny Mythical. Every year we get a brand new Shiny Mythical. Obviously, like, you know, we have, um, like, Darkrai and uh, Deoxys and, and those, but I don't mean those. I mean the special Mythicals, like Celebi, like Mew. In 2020, we got Shiny Celebi. 2021, we got Shiny Mew. I'm saying this year, 100% full certainty, we're getting Shiny Jirachi in Pokemon Go, which will be awesome. It's probably gonna be during some sort of research quest. It's obviously not gonna be in raids because they're, they're, they don't make these raid Pokemon, they make them research Pokemon. Everyone gets a Shiny Jirachi this year. I think that is for sure coming. And those are my predictions for 2022's top most anticipated Pokemon coming to Pokemon Go. Let me know in the comments what do you think is coming out this year. Is there a Pokemon that I did not mention that you wanna see? And I will see you all in the next video from Vancouver, Canada, eh?